what is going on guys it is a fine fine super fine day here in southwest pa and in today's very quick episode we are going to do an unboxing um before we get into it i do want to apologize for not uploading regular content yet um i've been actually really busy with like a bunch of things going on and a, a bunch of personal things going on and uh, with that being said i do want to thank everyone for you know being very supportive and all that stuff i had a lot of you know people comment a lot of nice stuff um on the one video i did about why i'm not posting that much right now just because of like all the uh the uh personal stuff that's been happening actually just yesterday another big personal bubble just kind of burst so it's just kind of one thing after another after another but that's okay it is what it is uh my health is in good condition and honestly that's all that really matters but in today's episode we are going to do an unboxing and if you follow the channel and you've been hearing me rant you know what this is these are tires which tires did i get well let's just go ahead and open uh, this up do i even need a knife do this is this does this count as that asmr thing is this is this asmr quality stuff i don't know is this even in shot i don't know it is for right what a grand day all right where is it okay let's see what tires did city ninja buy let's do a quick little sneaky peek ah uh, what is it i don't know i do know you're gonna know here in three seconds all right They're still warm. They're already warmed up and ready to go. Where's the little tag at? They are Michelin Road 5s. I got a pair of Michelin Road 5s. They were actually on sale like 30 something percent off and I saved like $80 on this. Man, they are like just squeaking. Lighting in this apartment is absolutely horrible. There we go. That's a better, um, that is a better, uh, view of them. Can I get the second one out as well? Oh, oopsies. My fault. Sorry, my friends. I'm sorry, my friends. Oh, this is the rear. Oh, and here's the front. So we got... Rears over here, fronts over here. Yes, these are Michelin oh, Road 5 tires. Now, you might be wondering, why did I go with this specific tire? Um, this was actually my my second option in tires. I, I really wanted to get the road six tires but every single time every single time i go and order those tires the rear tires unavailable the fronts are available but the rear tires are not available um and that's really freaking annoying because i really want to try them out but these tires also have fantastic reviews um so uh i don't want to get like do a, a, a huge huge uh in depth about this tire i would love to but you know this is basically uh a, a sports touring tire. It's, it's pretty much the same thing that i was doing running with the battle axe t32s um they're a rain tire again we got these very deep grooves with these rain bands here which apparently expand as you continue to ride the bike um and just general wear on them they should do better as far as longevity goes um as compared to the battle axe i'm hoping so because i got about oh 
it's on the speedometer. Um, it's, a, it's another little trick and tip for brand new riders. Set your trip A or trip B whenever you get brand new tires and set the other trip to either engine oil or uh, chain, whatever. Just something so you can keep track of when to do uh, you know your your maintenance and all that stuff or whatever, but I, I believe my battle axe I have about uh, 7,000 miles on them. I almost have 17,000 miles on the bike um, And I think my first ones I got about 8,000 and these are somewhere around seven seven five. I don't know it, it's somewhere in there. I can't remember exactly what it is but um i'm hoping to get more i'm hoping to get better uh tread or rather life out of these tires they sound really sticky as far as this goes so that's pretty cool um i am excited to run these tires i'll show a quick uh snapshot of the tires that i have on and how absolutely horrible they are they are in desperate need of changing so I have an appointment to get these thrown on the 7th of August. So that's um, a little over like a week and a half away. Um, so we'll get those on and we'll get them squared away. I got new brakes. We're going to get those put on soon. So the bike will then pretty much be up to par. But look how deep these, uh, these tires go. Like those are the wear, probably can't see it, but the wear bar is way, way down in there. Like these tires have a lot of um, tread on them and I'm super excited to ride them because right now with like my tire and how worn it is, like it's like flat. Again, I'll show a, a video real quick of it. It makes the tire it makes the bike feel one that it's on a flat tire like when this is completely flat it flat out and you're going in your lean it's like struggling struggling okay we're good then it like shoots back up it just feels bad i mean the tires are bad the tires need replaced there's no tread on them or at least in this middle part um and that's that's just basic wear and tear man that's just um how it is i mean i've I knocked all these little spiky things off except for the ones on the complete outer outer side um so you know i am using the tires it's not like oh you gotta learn to use the bike more it's like no we're using the bike we're just it just is what it is it's just how these tires wear out because you know 98 percent of the time with a life on your tire the bike is like this not like this you know it doesn't really matter how curvy or um sinuous or anything your, your your riding environment is it's, it's it's just how it is right you spend most of your time on this little patch right up here so that's pretty much it i just wanted you know give a quick video of this very fast unboxing i'm super excited for these tires uh which way does that go i believe it goes this way yeah so but which way would the tire be spinning the tire would be spinning is there a little arrow usually they give you a little arrow I can't I can't really see the lighting in this apartment is is horrendous oh it's rotating this way so it is rotating this way and this one is rotating this way so it's what it is uh oh my goodness so these are the road fives from Michelin I am super excited again to get these bad boys put on and to get some actual good tires whoops because mine are in desperate need of changing i i honestly was very close to just getting another pair of the battle axes i was i was i was like this close to just just getting the same tire but i'm like you know what let's just get a totally different let's get a different pair of shoes um sports tire brand tire all season tire it's what i want it's what i need um, especially as a bike being the only source of transportation for me so um yeah I'm, I'm real excited to see how these perform and see if they perform better or worse than the the battle axe t32s from bridgestone so 
uh, yeah, we will see what's going on. And uh, I'm hoping maybe if I can pull my head out of my ass, I can do another video today and get it uploaded later on this week. Today is Wednesday. So I'm hoping that I can just get this video out today and the other one out later on this week. Um, it will be the uh, video for moto vloggers. Um, I, I really want to do the other video about uh, tips and tricks for new riders, but that video is going to be really good. I'm, I'm, I have a lot of editorial ideas and for that, I need to shoot specific shots and it's just too hot outside. It, it just sucks. I, I, I absolutely hate being outside right now. So that's why I'm kind of really dragging my feet on that one, but that should be a good video. And of course, we are doing the Indian Heavy Hitters series very soon. I want to get the first episode uploaded next week with that white pursuit. That bike was absolutely phenomenal. I mean, just the whole experience with big bikes like that was was just something else that really opened my eyes. And I realized that I just like motorcycles. <laughs> like it doesn't, it doesn't really matter what it is. Uh, a cruiser is different than a naked bike. A naked bike is different than a super sport. A super sport is different than a all terrain bike. Um, they're all different in their own, own little way and they're fun as hell in their own little way so real excited for that if you haven't voted on which bike you want to see first go ahead to the community page and do that i'm going to get off because this is way too long of a video just to ramble about uh freaking tires or whatever but let me know what you guys think in the comments should i have gotten something else to substitute this tire instead i think i made a pretty good decision with it um i had a bunch of people talk about the road fives i believe cloudy biker also was running road fives or he at least spoke highly of them i think i i, I apologize if i'm uh, putting words in anybody's mouth um but i believe it was him who was talking about it but yeah uh we will see what happens so don't forget to like share and subscribe oh and i will see you guys in the next one